everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about gingival hyperplasia, when your gums are covering your teeth. So what is gingival hyperplasia? It is an overgrowth of gum tissue around the teeth. There are a bunch of different reasons this overgrowth may happen, but the two most common reasons are poor oral hygiene or from taking certain medications. When the gums are bulbous and puffy, not only do they have a not so pleasant appearance, but they can also be painful and it can actually increase your risk of gum disease and cavities because when your gums are covering your teeth, it's not easy to properly brush them. So if you have a gummy smile, how can you treat it? How can you get rid of it? Well, it depends on why you have it. For example, if it's simply from poor oral hygiene and the gums are inflamed due to plaque buildup, you'll often notice red bleeding gums. Oftentimes a professional cleaning at your dentist's office and improvements in your home care, brushing and flossing can help reduce the inflammation and it can actually get rid of your gummy smile. However, if the gums are overgrown due to taking certain medications such as anti-seizure drugs, immunosuppressants or calcium channel blockers, you'll need to either talk with your doctor and find a different medication to take in place of the current one you're taking. And sometimes that can resolve the issue. Or, however, sometimes that's not an option, right? If there's no alternative medication and you need to take it, then you gotta take it. In this case, there are procedures that can be done by your dentist or sometimes even a gum specialist called a periodontist. The three most common treatments are, one, laser treatment. This is where they use lasers to remove the inflamed gum tissue. Once the gum tissues are removed, they will also scale your teeth and areas that were covered by the gums. Two, gingivectomy. This is a procedure where they cut part of your gums away from the teeth and then they stitch it back up. And number three, periodontal flap surgery. This is where they separate the gums from the teeth to scale your teeth and remove inflamed tissue. Now, if your gingival hyperplasia is not caused by one of the two main causes that we just talked about, poor oral hygiene or medications, there are also some systemic conditions that could be to blame as well, such as pregnancy, hormonal imbalances, HIV, diabetes, anemia, Crohn's disease, and vitamin deficiencies. In the case of all of these conditions, once the condition is treated, then the gums generally shrink back down and improve on their own. A good example of this is pregnancy gingivitis. After a pregnant person delivers their baby, they had gingival enlargement during the pregnancy. Right after the delivery, the gums will often shrink and look healthy and normal again. So in all, if you are concerned about the appearance of your gums, maybe it's all of your gums or maybe it's just a few areas, whatever the case, if you are unhappy with the appearance, you can always schedule an appointment with your dentist and they will evaluate and determine the cause of gingival enlargement, which will then help to plan out the best treatment options for your individual mouth. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth. Bye.